Hello my soccer universe. I gotta be honest, it was a rough week for the Austrian league overall. I mean, we had Sturm being eliminated from the Europa Conference League, expectedly so, but it kept what was overall a rather black campaign for Austria. One of the worst in the past 10 years. Uh, yes, you had one team surviving, but with Salzburg only winning one game in the Champions League and not even advancing to the Europa League. Uh, with Lask similarly only having a a single win, not getting, not progressing further, although I think circumstances also conspired against them, but yes, was not good from them. And so only Sturm Graz, who also only advanced with four points, yes, they won then the two games against Slovan, but it was a really, really bad showing, meaning that Austria is losing three spots, I think sitting in 15th or 16th place. Meaning that for the season after next season, that's for 25 and 26, all Austrian teams have to go through qualification rounds, which may no, bo not bode well, and there's even a chance that you lose another spot. So we go down from 5 to 4. However, a reduction to 4 usually means less teams, meaning the coefficient is only divided by 4, which actually could boost you up again. So there's always these waves that go in uh, when you look at these coefficients and also maybe a few more teams in the Conference League where Austrian teams probably would beat up quite a few opponents. Might also help because having two teams in the Europa League as great as it is for the club coffers, it's not good for the coefficient. So that was the first down. The second down, of course, has to do with Rapid, who again were handed the punishment. This time for pyrotechnics, and it's now two uh, two points that have to be taken off. Uh, I think it will get reduced to one. It is for next season, which is something I already said in my previous video ahead of the playoffs. Did not look well, and of course Ralf Rangnick did not put the two uh, the three players that were in the extended squad. He did not call them up for the Austrian games right now because of their transgressions. And then in general, I mean, the play over the past three days was also kind of bleh, a lot of draws. And then the two best teams in Austria really asserted themselves with two huge wins. Which also kind of, yeah, maybe it's exciting in a way, but you know, it didn't uh, go. Uh, didn't uh, say, capture the imagination, let's put it this way. But let's jump in uh, with the start with Rapid against Lusk. I honestly, when I knew that the bands were handed down to Rapid, I said, I really would like to play Rapid while those big players are banned. Because, you know, Lask really cannot score goals ahead of these games. They had not scored in four games and I don't quite understand it. Why? They cannot really score. Uh, so, yeah, but, you know, having uh, them Rapid missing their biggest goal scorers might actually help and it actually in a way it did it has to has as we said the game was a rather even affair a rather tet i don't want to say touchy but you know uh, a lot of uh, energy put down but nothing really cohesive going forward i thought that over when you watch the game especially in the first half you might have had the idea that um rapid had more control over the game. However, Lusk had the better chances, none bigger than the 11th minute, when Moses Uso suddenly finds himself almost one-on-one -on -one with uh, Pete Coley. Hedl is close to Sands at the line and Hedl is out and uh, he tries to lob him. I think he takes the wrong foot, first off. Second off, Uso is fast. He could have run at Hedl. There might have been a chance there too, but it shows there's not much confidence. There's another one that fell to Ljubicic and as great as some of the attacking uh, patterns are by Lusk, as soon as the ball gets to Ljubicic, it usually breaks because he wants to go for, for a goal and he doesn't look at the other uh, players and that's his undoing because there was a uh, much better position. So those were two big chances for Lusk in the first half. On the other side, it really has, as we said, that Rapid had more control and it was, I don't want to say hang, 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 hanging on, there were no shots on goal for uh, of Laval, but on the other side, Rapid were always dangerous, especially with Jansson, who came out of nowhere. He was tearing it up on the left flank, left and right. It was really hard to get a grip on. Second half, I think Rapid had even more uh, idea of how to go for it, especially again with Jansson, who got the yellow card for diving. Uh, I think if that would have been a penalty, this would have been scandalous, but you know, we've seen those penalties being given, especially at Rapid. Uh, but it was never really that one team really threatened. I think for Lusk the biggest chance came for a header from Ljubicic, but he's a little bit too, can kind of get uh, his weight behind the ball and was a great cross by Horvath in, but Flecker cannot control it. 
I don't really recall any rapid chances. On the other side, I always felt that Rapid, um, even with their young uh, player Sadie, were dangerous enough. So, you know, more weight on the game for Rapid, more chances for Lusk. Nil nil draw, the logically conclusion for that game. Then, Saturday was all a relegation group and all draws. I mean, Austria Vena had an early 1 0 lead through Fitz in Altag. Um, was probably deserved in, in it. First of all, Altag had a good chance for it. But second half, it was all Altag and Austria Vena barely hang on. When it seemed like they will hang hang on, it's Google Nick who taps one in after a little melee in the Austria box. Blauweiss Linz against Austria Lusna. This was a first um, head to head in the relegation battle, if you would like. Um, Blava is more of the game, Lust Lust no better chances, similar to uh, what we had Rapid Lusk. Um, cannot was a rough game. I actually at one point I was considering going to them because of course because I want to see their stadium as well, but I said I cannot, I don't want to see Lust no, and I think I was vindicated with that one because that would have annoyed me. And Wolfsburg really, they are a team that actually want to finish in seventh spot. Did not look good uh, for a long time. Uh, Tirol took a lead through Prelitz and was bad in the second half, although Wolfsburg had had better uh, chances in the first half. And then through a penalty out of nowhere that even was saved by Stasekal, however, Ballo on the rebound after his shot was saved. Makes it 1-1, one, one. then was VSG hanging on, but in the end, I think uh, the draw was a little bit more lucky for Wolfsburg. So nothing really changed there in the bottom group. And nothing really changed in the top group either, because the two best teams in Austria, this so shot the two best teams in Austria. <laughs> I mean, Sturm Graz had a 4 0 half time lead. Beer scoring in the 4th and the 18th, Horvath making it a 3 and 23rd, and Böwing in the 39th. Uh, it was a clear demonstration that, you know, we want to become, or we want to at least challenge Salzburg. However, uh, South Salzburg said challenge accepted. And won themselves 5 1 over Hartberg, although an uh, early red card for Bowart definitely played into the that that was a 20th minute and then Radkov and Beatstrip uh, made it 2-0 uh, at, at, at the half Fernando as on back Hal pulls from back in the lead on Oscar Gloch and Koita make it a 5-1 win rather rather emphatically meaning uh, not much has changed over except that Salzburg and Sturm are even further away Rapid actually move into fourth place because they hold the tiebreaker you know, they have got points where they round it down, like Slask, they have the tie tiebreaker. So now Lask at 18 and Rapid Klangfurt and, and Hartberg on 17 with Rapid holding the tiebreaker in this case. Uh, and on the bottom, yes, everyone got points. So Austria, Vienna, Wolfsburg, Altach and Blauweiss are still uh, in Tirol two points ahead of Lust. Now it would have been three big points for Tirol, to be honest. Would they have converted? Um, after the international break, we come back uh, with... A big one in the relegation fight, Austria Lusna against Tirol. That's a dog, a, a, a dog fight. If Tirol avoid defeat there, it will be a harder road for Lusna for sure. On the other side, they could turn into the last place. And we have Sturm Graz against Salzburg ahead of their meeting in the semi final of the cup as well. So that's a big one too. Last good play at home to Klagenfurt. I hate it. This is Easter Sunday and we have a 2 30 game. That's a. Uh, it's not very family friendly, uh, especially if uh, the families are celebrating somewhat Easter. But yeah, I guess I will make my way there, probably. Any case, that was it from me from the Austria Bundesliga before the international break. I want to be more optimistic. I really hope that now the break will help Lask to kind of regroup a little bit and maybe get some calm confidence. Overall, the patterns of play not that bad overall there is something there it just needs to be more consistent and with a little bit more uh confidence executed any case hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day Bye.